Hello, my name is Graham Cuban. I'm the Director of Projects and Development here at Indwell. And I'm happy to be sharing some thoughts today with uh, Rachel Corey, Program Manager at Parkdale Strathern and newly opened Request and Loss. Great. Well, Rachel, you and I have been uh, through a lot this year along with the rest of the team at Indwell. And uh, it's been totally, as they say, an unprecedented year. Um, we didn't start 2020 for sure, thinking about a pandemic up, uh, upending our lives, but here we are and we've been very thankful at Indwell to be able to navigate through many ups and downs over the last number of months. And I know that uh, back in March when everyone's world turned upside down, our staff team really rallied and really was able to rethink all of our programs, all of our supports, everything that we were doing very quickly and uh, respond to the pandemic. And we're super thankful that through the last number of months, none of our tenants have actually uh, come down with COVID, it's, which is really amazing thinking that we have almost 700 tenants now. And uh, that's just a real testament, I would say, to you and our colleagues who are day-to-day uh, -day running our programs. Yeah, the teams have been ex exceptional with lots of changes to just how they work, how they come into work, how they interact with tenants. Um, but I would say that the quality of our interactions with tenants and the meaningful, um, you know, connections that we're making are, are still blazing forward and, and staff are doing it with, um, you know, a level of resilience that just is unmatched, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, having all of our apartments, having all of our tenants live in independent apartments has been huge for the pandemic. Being able to self-isolate, being able to, you know, st stay separate uh, yet together. So much of our supports, the connecting, the, the social interaction, the food, uh, bringing people together has been changed. How have some of those things been um, altered, I guess, or, or adjusted in, in order to meet the pandemic? Yeah, there's definitely some very basic ways and like we used to eat together and now people don't eat together uh, in, in the dining hall, but we are you know, delivering meals directly to tenants in their units. Um, but we, we try to make those connections very meaningful still, that people have an opportunity to talk to staff at their door and, and, and be connected. Um, other things, you know, have changed uh, somewhat, you know, has, have flexed over the, the pandemic where um, some of our groups were able to run in certain times through the pandemic just with restricted numbers. Um, but really just like the staff have come up with new ways to, to be connecting. Uh, whether that's more one-on-one, um, -on -one, well distanced and, and properly, you know, using our protective equipment, but mm -hmm. really maintaining those relationships. And those are relationships with, with our own staff and as well as relationships in the community by, by advocating and connecting um, tenants to the sports that they need outside of. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the things we've all realized is the importance of uh, the internet, the importance of uh, using technology to connect. I know that a lot of our programs, we were able to actually add uh, Wi-Fi hotspots and be able to uh, enable tenants who didn't necessarily have their own internet to be able to stay connected. Also a huge tribute to many in the community who helped us um, in the early days of the pandemic with uh, access to PPE and supports and donations and funding. I know we've been overwhelmed with the generosity of our community and we just want to say a huge thanks to everybody who has been a part of uh, enabling us to stay safe through this pandemic. One of the key areas that we've been working on, of course, is building new housing. And I think you're at McQuestin Lofts right now in the new, uh, the new sunroom top floor amenity area there. And uh, I know that that building just opened a couple weeks ago. Maybe it was last week, actually. Last Monday. Um, huge opportunity for us within this pandemic to keep pushing forward with building new housing, 50 new apartments opening at McQuestin Lofts, 45 back in the summer at North End Landing. We have five projects under construction right now. Can you capture in a few sentences, maybe, you know, the difference it makes for an individual to have housing when maybe they've been living homeless? Home um, is the base for everything. You know, that's the place where we go for safety. It's the place we go for comfort. All of these, all of these things. Um, being able to offer 50 new units to people um, in our community affects, uh, obviously, people we welcome in. They're coming from different spaces. So maybe they're, for the, for the first time in a long time, sleeping in a bed, a regular bed that, that is theirs. Um, maybe it's the first time in a long time they have a place to, um, you know, cook a meal. All of these kinds of things, uh, whether they've been couch surfing, sleeping in their car, um, living with with friends or relatives, you know, on and off. These are all situations that are, are real here. But we also know it provides um, a little bit of relief to our wider community. 
the community feels it when Intuol opens a building, when there are 50 new units opening up, we're creating spaces elsewhere for people to come in. Um, and so um, the impact of opening a building is, is just kind of, it's, a, it's really it's significant and, and changes the work we do. And, and I, it's the thing that I think keeps staff moving. It keeps staff thinking like, when I'm in this space supporting this individual, I'm part of this larger thing where we're housing people. And we're not just housing the people in our, you know, limited units. We're mm -hmm. continuing to push forward and say, no, we need more. And mm -hmm. so that's why we're able to support the people who live here well, because we know that the people who, you know, maybe an unwanted guest, we, we're saying we're providing housing so that you too can, you know, Hmm. Place to, to find home. I know that uh, most of our most of our team is working in direct support of our tenants, but those of us who are on our development side of things uh, every day experience this this need and the call from our community to help build new housing, to help find supportive housing, particularly as a catalyst for personal change, and to deal with the homelessness crisis that we now see emerging across the province. Um, we have about six projects that are uh, in planning for next year already. Um, we are probably going to enter at least two new municipalities or two new, uh, you know, regions uh, in 2021, which will be very exciting. Uh, but really, we do see this vision extending across the province and want to be a part of in empowering and enabling uh, communities to find solutions that work, that work on a very personal level, uh, but work on a sort of a systems level, on a family level, on a, on a you know, political level, on a public health level. There's so many ways that supportive housing can weave together real solutions that are durable and sustainable for the long term. So it's exciting. You know, as we look back on 2020, um, we, we, can't, we can't overstate how important it has been for our support community to step behind us and to actually enable this work. I know that we're targeting around 15% of our operating budget from donations. And we just have been so thankful for people stepping up and we look forward to that support continuing in 2021. Well, Rachel, uh, it's been uh, great connecting virtually with you. And, uh, you know, as we look back on 2020 and look forward to 2021, um, can't say thank you enough to you and our colleagues who are working uh, so hard every day in our programs and, you know, across our organization. I know everyone is committed to the overall vision of transformed lives, hope and homes for all. So on behalf of everyone at Indwell, we wish everyone out there in our community all the best for 2021 and a safe wrap up to 2020. Take care. Thanks so much.